All right, g'day, I'm John, and this is my Videnev, I think it's pronounced, M14P radial engine. So this particular one come out of a Yak 52. Now apparently the story goes, the Yak 52 was imported to Australia, the, the owner had it um, certified to fly in Australia, and when its first couple of flights, it had an oil pressure problem. So it lost oil pressure, and the, um, he had to make a, a forced landing. So the engine was pulled out of the plane, sent up here to, to Brisbane, it was stripped and found that the um, it had suffered no oil pressure and the, uh, the the crankshaft and the master rod assembly was unserviceable. They located or sourced a, a second hand bottom end out of a helicopter, opened that up when it got here and found it to be quite serviceable. So they had the two engines stripped and that's where it sat. So the owner then apparently bought another complete engine for the plane, stuck it in the plane, sold the plane. That was um, about nearly 20 years ago. So the man who stripped the engine had the engine stripped in his workshop for 15 or 16 years in pieces. Um, and then said to me, would I, would I be interested in buying it? So I said, yeah, sure. So I bought it, bought it home, reassembled the puzzle, and here she is running. So these M14Ps are a pneumatic start or compressed air start. So in the aircraft they have a, a, a little cylinder that's pressurised to, I think it's 52 bar, about 700 psi, and apparently that's enough for a few starts. I haven't got the original cylinder, so I've got a, just a, uh, a dive cylinder that I use. I pump this one to 220 bars, I think it is, and it gives me quite a few starts. So um, I've got the regulator there, and the line feeds up here to an to a on-off valve and then into the start system. So when we were going to start the engine, I dropped this, this uh, valve at the back here. The air comes from the, through the cylinder, through, through the valve, in to this distributor arrangement here. So in here is a, the high pressure air comes in, there's a little rotor inside there that points to one of these, these, um, these tubes. And that tube runs around through to whichever cylinder it is. So when the air goes through, it goes to that cylinder, pushes that piston down, and the, as the engine turns, the rotor moves to the next cylinder, so the air gets distributed to each cylinder in turn to rotate the engine around. So once the fuel and spark's introduced, the engine starts and runs. So a few features on this side of the engine. Um, we've got the, the carburetor down the bottom down there. It's the diaphragm type carburetor, so there's no float. Uh, they work good inverted and, and all conditions there. 
You got the, the start distributor in there. You got the booster coil here for the initial starting. You got the left magneto here, which fires the, the rear cylinders. The right magneto on the other side, those other cylinders. This exhaust is actually off a, a helicopter, not an aircraft one. But it's only one get me hands on at the time. Okay, so over the opposite side of the engine now. Another exhaust outlet. Got uh, I think it's four, three, three or four cylinders this side and the opposite the other side. The other magneto. Um, this has also got the compressor this side. So when the, this engine was in the aircraft, that compressor would pump the cylinder to replenish the air taken to start the engine. I don't use it because I don't run the engine uh, long enough to replace the air that I use. I fill the, my cylinder by a, an electric compressor. Um, that's about it, I think. So I've given the engine a run this morning. I'll, uh, that's why it's got oil and stuff on it. I'm going to give it another run for you shortly and you can see, it, see how it sounds and see what you think of it. Okay. <laughs>